Looking to expand your family with a four-legged friend? Maybe Marnie here. Well, Randy Shimabukuro with the Hawaiian Humane Society is here to tell us how you can get Marnie or maybe someone else to add to the family. Brandy, thanks for stopping by again. Thanks for having us both. Now, before we get to Marnie and how someone can add Marnie to their family, talk about the need right now to help the Hawaiian Humane Society. You know, shelters nationwide have been overcrowded now for well over a year, and Hawaiian Humane is certainly not immune to that. We have so many dogs and cats, small animals that are looking for loving homes of their own. That's why we're so proud to partner with Empty the Shelters Bissell Pet Foundation for their Holiday Hope Adoption event. Now through um, December 21st, we are waiving adoption fees for all animals, just like Marnie here, who has been waiting for a home for quite some time. She's been with Hawaiian Humane for about three, almost four months now. Mm -hmm. um, she's a four-year-old pit bull terrier mix. Just looks like a big old couch potato because right. she is a big old couch right. potato. She would love to have a home that's just going to give her a nice, mellow, quiet environment. And there is a pet for every kind of family here with Hawaiian Humane. And, and Marnie, this is how Marnie is. As soon as I entered, that's the first thing I said. I was like, wow, she's really chill. Yep. You know? She just wants all of the body rubs and pets, mm -hmm. wants the love. She's just an awesome girl, and we love her. Okay, and then they can just get, go down to the Humane Society. 11 a.m., you open up if they really specifically want Marnie, right? That's right. She's uh, here at our Mo'ili'ili Ili campus uh, in town, so you can come and visit us as soon as we open our doors at 11 today. We are open mm -hmm. till 6. Uh, open daily at Mo'ili'ili, Ili, and then open Wednesday through Sunday in Eba. We have lots of pets there waiting for homes as well. And if someone's on the neighbor islands and they're watching, they want Marnie or maybe something else, you know, that they can't have on their island, uh, what do they need to know about uh, bringing a, a, an animal over? Because that's possible. Yeah, it's a lot easier than people think to mm -hmm. move uh, inter-island or off-island with a pet versus coming in from the continental U.S. or someplace else, right, because of quarantine mm -hmm. laws and, and restrictions. But that challenge is really more perception than anything else. It's really just booking passage on a plane, uh, getting the right health certificate, and ensuring that your pet is fully vaccinated, which they should be anyway, to be right. a responsible pet owner. Right. Um, and also, at this time, more adult dogs like Marnie um, are in the shelters because families like the little ones, the puppies, the kittens. But you say, you know, it's actually sometimes a better idea to get a, a grown-up. Animal. Exactly. You know, puppies and kittens, they have a lot of energy, and you need to put a lot of time and energy into giving them the structure and training that they need. A dog like Marnie, who's four years old, look mm. at her, she's so mellow. Yes. You know, she's so easy to walk on leash. She's just, I mean, you have such a life that's just a lot easier versus the time mm. commitment of a smaller, of a smaller, younger pet, yeah. right? Um, but we have so many animals that are looking for homes, and if there are pe families who can't do the long-term commitment, commitment of adoption. Mm -hmm. We have other solutions too where you can right. help to solve this overcrowded situation that we have right now. Um, we can foster. Uh, we mm -hmm. just launched a brand new foster program called Lap Crashers for adult cats to go into um, loving temporary homes. They can learn about socialization, what we learn to what they're like in a home environment. It's very similar to our existing short-term foster program Couch Crashers for dogs. So we're really excited about that for members of the public who want to come in and really help to alleviate our space constraints in the shelter. And Marnie knows how to sit. She, let me start. Let me try. Okay. So Marnie, here I have Marnie does she Marnie hears, knows where your she treats hears, are. She hears the Marnie, treat come, bag. Marnie. Sit. Right sit. Marnie, sit. Marnie, sit. Do it. Oh, there we go. A little potato. She She's likes a Brandy's voice. <laughs> Brandy's works. She is sweet. She um, she, she really is, is a so staff sweet. and volunteer favorite with Hawaiian Humane. It's impossible not to bond with the animals mm -hmm. in our care when they're with us for so long. And for a dog like Marnie, she's just, we don't understand why she's still with us. She's just the best dog. Well, maybe she might not be for much longer after this one because Pickles, who was on our show the last time, Pickles got snatched up by someone who lives on Kauai. She, he, she did. He actually mm -hmm. lives here now, but he's planning to move to Kauai. Okay. Has grand dreams of her living the best life, Aww. just having lots of land and, and chasing all the chickens and just having having a wonderful time with him. Um, it was We would love it if a KHO and Take Two viewer took home Marnie today. All right, 11 a.m., doors open. Marnie can be yours. Brandy, thank you so much for stopping by, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you.